All right, in this video, we're going to go over a density calculation, and we're actually going to do five of them in five separate videos. All right, so this is the problem. Gadolinium forms a hexagonal close-packed structure. If the radius of GD is 1.8 angstroms, what is its density in grams per centimeters cubed? All right, so we know that the radius is 1.80 angstroms. 1.8 angstroms and it's hexagonal close-packed. All right, what's its density? All right, so let's go ahead and write down what we know here. So we know that the atomic radius, let me go ahead and get this, the radius is gonna be 1.80 angstroms, all right? And this is gonna be equal to, and they give us a conversion factor there, that one angstrom is 10 to the minus eighth, or yeah, 10 to the minus eighth centimeters, so that means this is going to be equal to 1.8 times 10 to the minus 8 centimeters. All right. And we need to figure out, ultimately, the density. And we're going to use this formula right here, okay, because this is the formula for hexagonal close pack. This is the density formula. So our density is going to be 6 times now we need to figure out what the atomic mass is okay our atomic mass of GD the molecular weight of this is 157.25 grams per mole we're also going to divide that by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole all right and by the way the 6 has units of atoms okay and we're going to divide that by the quantity 24 square root of 2 times the radius cubed and our radius is 1.80 times 10 to the minus 8 that's going to be centimeters quantity cubed and notice the following the units of per mole cancel all right the units of atoms cancel because 6 has units of atoms. I didn't indicate that here, but the units of atoms cancel. And so we're going to be left with grams per cubic centimeter. So now we just need to calculate the density. All right. So again, like I mentioned in the first video on this where we were explaining the theory, um, the main thing is to read the problem and know which one of these equations to use. And then from there, it's pretty much just plugging in numbers. So let me go ahead and calculate this. 6 times 157.25 divided by the quantity. It's very important when you do this to use appropriate parentheses on your calculator. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And then it's going to be divided by, let me put this in parentheses, 24 and then square root of 2. And then that's also divided by, we're going to do in parentheses, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 8th. And that is quantity cubed. And I'm getting that the density in grams per, per cubic centimeter is, I'm going to round this to 7.92. It's about 7.91511, 7.92 grams per cubic centimeter. So we're going to do another problem in the next video.